Come, come, gather around, everyone. They're about to talk Disney. I am still so confused as to whether I'm going to eat at Connections or Creations. So the only way I can keep them straight is I have to think, okay, well, my mouth connects to my stomach, so I guess that's Connections. So I call Catherine to see how dinner at the restaurant is going. And she says, I can't talk to you right now. I'm talking to Mickey. Uh, so I'm like, okay, here's the big cheese. I get it. And then she says, hold on, he wants to talk to you. So she FaceTimes me and I'm FaceTiming with Mickey as I'm getting ready for the podcast. I don't understand why people spend hard-earned money on a Mickey ice cream sandwich in the parks. I mean, we literally all have ice cream sandwiches in our freezers at home. We don't have Mickey bars. From the mind and creator of the Disney YouTube channel Living in Diz comes a whole new Disney podcast. Okay, can we talk some serious Disney here now? Nope. Get ready for all the Disney knowledge that you can handle. It's Corey. It's Lawrence. It's the DizPod. You are now listening to a member of the Disney Podcast family. Head over to Disney Podcast family on Instagram to see all the latest posts for this show and links to other great Disney podcasts. All right. Uh, hello and welcome. Uh, you know, some days we show up and it's like it, we're, it, this is new to us. <laughs> it's only approaching episode number 50. I don't think any of you noticed anything. but uh, So I guess I didn't hit start. I hit the intro, but I didn't hit go live. <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty sure I tried to click it. But then I realized that I needed a drink and I had to <laughs> run out of here. I think Ashley might have seen me run out of here grab a drink and then come back in and set the lights up because the lights weren't even set up there but we're good to go and we're happy to be here and welcome everyone to the diz pod episode 48 i don't know i just say that i just say that and then i look at lawrence i look for confirmation and he usually tells me i'm wrong uh 46 let's say lawrence what's wrong with you you're on the wrong side come on now shannon busts you all the time you're on the wrong side <laughs> When we bring in Ashley, we'll put Ashley on the top and us on the bottom. And they'll just freak everybody That'll just out. Throw, throw everything out of whack, for sure. For sure. So, uh, hey, it's another week in the books leading up to now. The weather's been holding up so well, so beautiful. I can't even tell you the last time it rained. But I have a short memory. But at the same time, I don't think it's rained in days and days. Right, Ash Ashley's back there. I can see her. I don't know if it's right. I don't feel like it's rained anyway. Sometimes I measure the rain days by my Disney days, and it has not rained in many Disney days for me. So that's all that matters. I don't care as much if it rains in the evenings when I'm just going about my normal life here. So it's been good, and it's starting to heat up a little bit 
here. Uh, how is the weather over there in North Carolina? Weather has been good here. Um, funny enough, this weekend uh, we went to see the Savannah Bananas, um, which is very cool. If anybody has the chance to go see that, uh, to go see them play, go see them play. They are a baseball team, if you don't know. Um, I don't even know how to describe them. So the way I normally describe them is like the Harlem Globetrotters, but for baseball. You know, so they do uh, trick plays and they play music throughout the whole thing. Um, so it was it was a lot of fun um, and it was warm. You can't see because I have my headphones on. Uh, I actually got sunburn on my ears. That's how how hot it was out there. So um, Catherine, when we sat down, she was like, uh, do you want some sunscreen? I'm like, no, no, I'll be fine. I wasn't fine. So um, he gets locked out during the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, she does not come in. That's only happened once that she came in. Uh, so uh, I lock out Tammy, too, by the way. <laughs> um, Shannon says she's going to see them at Fenway Park. Yeah, they they were they're were really, really fun. That was a lot of fun. Really? They go to Fenway Park. Wow. Well, they sold out. Um, where where the Astros play? Is it Minute Maid Park? Yes. Yeah. Um, they sold that out. I mean, that's crazy. Absolutely. That is nuts. Yeah. So yeah. just quickly, what do they do? What do they do? Like, you know, Harlem Globetrotters, you know, will have all these great moves with the ball and things like that. Do different tricks. Like, what do you do in base? What do you do in baseball? Uh, so they will, you know, go and catch behind the back, uh, you know, in the outfield. Um, if there is a walk, um, then all the players have to come in and they uh, relay the ball to each other. And until the last person touches the ball, the players can, the runners can keep running around. So normally if you're on first, you're going to make it to third because all uh, seven other players have to come on to about second base and, uh, and throw the ball around. So it, it's just, it's, it's different. Um, there's a lot of dancing, the, um, the umpire dances, all that type of stuff. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, they even how, played how original. Yeah. They even played, um, uh, during the game they were playing, um, uh, diggity dog, hot diggity dog. Um, just oh, random. Oh. Yeah. Just random really? music play. Yeah. Oh, God. Diggity yeah. dog. Love it. All right. Well, uh, later on in the uh, podcast, we'll talk about uh, in the parks, what we did in the parks while we were live. And uh, right after we bring on, of course, our very special, I'm not going to call her a guest anymore. Very special. We, we, need, we need to give her a title. Uh, very special friend. Hey, Park she is Condon? a very special friend. Yes. Park score, our parks correspondent. There you go. Ac yes. Al um going to call her allergies you're not allergies you're ashley let's bring on ashley right now disney allergies with ashley you can find her in our description below of every single video and you can find her better on instagram and she brings all the knowledge for allergies that happen to uh be included in the food over there at disney world what's going on my friend you are doing fantastic um you are such a Chippendale fan. I love it. There's no one bigger than you. Love, yes. I see it in your in your stories and things like that, and I just go, oh, look at that. I mean, it just comes out like the, the big hugs, and you run up to them, and it's awesome. I love that. So, so knowing that, you know, I want to watch even closer. I want to, I want to see all those cool interactions. That's, that's awesome. Uh, did you know, why am I asking? You have to know this. Did you know that a new lug bag came out in Canada? And were you, were you,
That's a good man. You should marry him someday. <laughs> That's awesome. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah, you know, Tammy is always on to the next kind of bag, and these lugs are the new thing. And uh, she was excited to check that one out, but it did sell out. So she did not get her – no. I, I, Yeah, it did. It sold out. I think it took more than a day, but by the time we got there on Saturday, they were gone. So – Those pockets go for days and days, for sure. I mean, Tammy picked up the Italian one with Mickey uh, all over it and the backpack, and there's this crazy amount of pockets. There must be nine pockets, like no exaggeration. And it, it's a cool – It when you compare it to the, the lounge flies, it's a very different build. More pockets, and it's squishy, would you say? It's kind of squishy. Um, so it's a little bit more like a gym bag. But it's like a, if a gym bag got together with a lounge fly and they had a kid, you know. Only yeah. chips face. Yeah. I so I found that. that interesting. I noticed that. You might have to play that up with a. You might have to play that up with a character meet and greet. I did. I was like, maybe like C for Canada, C for Chip, and Dale was like, but what about me? Like, what do I get? And I was like. We'll get you something, Dale. Don't worry. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Bigger, bigger things, things coming, coming for Dale. Dale. Yes. And I like so those 19... bags. Like, okay. uh, she had picked up the uh, figment uh, bag, and it just all those pockets. Like I could just see being able to compartmentalize it, you know, and use it mm -hmm. as your uh, as your Disney bag for sure. Yeah. Oh, and I got so many compliments on it. Like people were stopping me, being like, "Where did you get that?" Because anytime I go to Disney, I bring like a little chip plush because i take them to see the characters and take photos it's really cute and i had him like sticking out of like where chip's face was and i just the whole time i was there was just where did you get that back i'm like go right to canada and it should still be there wow so it's so your, it's your fault, fault that they, they all sold out, out that parade probably <laughs> i was a walking advertisement which is good for disney so it worked out <laughs> exactly uh last, last on, on the, the lug I, I got is that, that uh, uh I gotta, I gotta study, study Tammy's, Tammy's bag because when the new style bag comes out, out, I look, I look at, at it from a streamer's, streamer's standpoint. standpoint. Okay, mm -hmm. is this bag functional for me in the park? park? Can, I Can I fit what I need to fit on a particular day? day you know, so, so that I stream and, and not, not got jams in, in there. So, so with, with it having all the pockets, I want to check out her. She has a big backpack. Oh, I have a big one. I need to see if it fits everything I need on certain days. The heaviest, the heaviest day, day which, which is like Saturday, 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 Saturday,
Especially you know, now that they're redoing the cabins for DVC, I noticed that how they're doing the advertisement, like the buttons that they're giving out for DVC are like Chip and Dale. And I did see a sneak peek of some of the type of designs they'll be doing in the cabin and a lot of the artwork will be featuring them as well. So that'll be pretty cool. You got to stay there. there. Yeah, my parents are DVC, thank goodness. So I said to them, I said, you guys better book those points so we can go and experience <laughs> it. It's a great property. It really is. It is. We did it once, and, and um, we – can I just I say it? it? I, I, we're we're, we're going to stay there, there in summer, summer, too, too so. So. and we're going to bring, bring everyone, everyone along. So. So. That's so uh, exciting. You know, we'll, we'll be doing, doing that, too. We're excited to see the take you know, a live room tour of the, tour of the place. place. And we'll, 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 when we stayed last, last time, time, we gave everybody a ride in the car. So we took three rooms. So we'll spend some time there probably, and then I'd like to tie in and do with that. Then, have you been no, no. i've never, oh, never been. been you're gonna love it yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah, sure, sure. I, I, I'm, I'm sure, sure we, will. we will so, so that'll, that'll be fun, fun. that'll be a fun stream if we can put that all together, together. you know no. spend, yeah spend for sure noon noon on, on property show, show them the room, room and then, then do who we do, do. And, and then, then uh, maybe, maybe we'll, we'll just end the stream. stream. I was thinking maybe, maybe go to go magic, but maybe we'll just end it and enjoy the rest of the night we did grand low a couple weeks ago so so yeah so, so you are, you are here, here because, because you went, went to 1900 Park Fair, Fair 1900 Park Fair opened this, this week, and I was um, I came, came across your story uh, or just just, just your post popped up, up and, and I was like, like oh, we this, this is, is the, the chance, chance to get, get Ashley back, back on, so that's, that's awesome. awesome. Um, tell, tell us all about 1900 Park Fair. Fair. Yeah, so I actually, believe it or not, I think this is just a great tip in general for anyone booking a Disney dining reservations. We actually got that reservation the day before. This was not something that we had booked 60 days in advance. We were at Epcot. I said, I really want to go in terms of just for a food allergy post as well as myself to give more education on this location. And we were able to snag a five o'clock reservation. So I will say it exceeded my expectations for sure. First, I want to start with that. I will say, though, the location is a lot smaller than I remember. So I like to preface for anyone with food allergies, it is a smaller buffet than I would say Crystal Palace or Boma because it is a buffet if anyone does not know. So just to keep that in mind and depending on your allergies will depend on what is available to you. For example, I do have a gluten and soy allergy, so that made me a little bit more limited than someone who would just have one allergy. But I would like to give a cast compliment to the chef that was there. Her name was Heidi. She's from Providence, Rhode Island. Probably Ooh. one of the best food allergy chefs I have ever interacted with. So patient, so kind, took her time, walked the whole buffet with me from start to finish, had an iPad out explaining everything, showing every ingredient and was like, I can go to the back. You can come to the buffet if you're nervous about cross-contamination. Like I can handle everything for you if need be. And I was so impressed with that because I felt like I was so taken care of as a guest. She took her time with me. I did not feel rushed. It was beyond excellent. I actually even went up to a manager and said, she is amazing and I need to give her recognition because she took her time with me and really made sure I was comfortable with everything that I was eating. She came to speak with me, you know, every couple minutes to make sure I was okay. It was, I was extremely impressed with how well Disney handled that this past weekend at 1900 Park Fair, for sure. The next thing I do want to say is for anyone that does have food allergies, one thing that a lot of people will notice with the allergy-friendly menu is that when you flip it to that back page, there will be instances where you'll see things that you can order from the back kitchen. For example, allergy-friendly dinner rolls or cookies or whatever is available for that certain location. This location does not have that option. However, when you're speaking with the chef, say you would like something that they usually have at most dining, allergy-friendly rolls is usually an example I'd like to give, they do have that there. So just to preface that, because most buffets usually do have something on the back, just some additional food options that are allergy-friendly that are not on the buffet, this location does not have that. 
So I'd like to tell people that so they don't go in expecting to flip that last page like I did. I went in and I was looking at the menu, looking, okay, gluten, looking at soy. I go to flip the back and there is nothing there. So I just like to tell everyone that so they're not expecting that last page for anything separate for them to look for. Wow. wow. That, that, I, I'm, I'm blown, blown away. away. That gave me the chills by the, the attention, attention that, that she gave you. you. Absolutely. Do you, think, do you, do you think, think that has anything to do? Could this be something, something like a new way of doing things, things for Disney where, where we, we had, had that, that tragic, tragic incident? incident. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Unfortunately, I think because of what happened at Disney Springs, I think Disney realized they needed to up their game. Allergies are not something to be taken lightly. This is someone's life in their hands and it is their responsibility if they take it on to take care of their guests. I know Disney is very important on having inclusion and inclusion includes those allergies. So if they say, yes, we can accommodate those, then they need to be taking that extra step. I even would like to add on that for the buffet, having a gluten and a soy allergy desserts are never an option for me just because there's usually gluten or soy. The chef Heidi went out of her way next door, got me allergy-friendly ice cream and allergy-friendly cookies and made me a Mickey Sunday and brought it to the table so that I was included with my party to have dessert as well. And that alone could have brought me to tears because if you go outside of Disney, that wouldn't happen. But because it's Disney and they're constantly finding ways to raise the bar, I, it blew me away. It really did. I was so impressed. Tears, Tears don't come, come to my eyes, eyes that easily, but I could feel that, that happening as you were saying that. Like, like I, I want to hug you. I want to hug her. That, that, that just blows, blows me away. away. And, you, and know, you know what? That, that reminds, reminds me of, of uh, my, my friend Neil uh, went, went the other day with his wife, wife Alyssa, Alyssa, and she, she has, has a gluten allergy. Yes. I... Don't, don't think, think it was, was a male, a female, female though. I'll have, I'll have to ask her because, because she said, said something like the chef, chef went, went to another, another restaurant and brought her back, back something that, that she could have. have. Right. So, so there's Disney, Disney going, going that extra, extra, that that extra step, step, which, which is, is really, really amazing. amazing. Yeah, and I appreciate it as well because I will say this, and this is good just also for guests that do not have allergies. Uh, I was informed by the staff that the first year that 1900 Park Fair is open, they are not taking any discounts. So no annual pass, no DVC. It's I believe, obviously, they accommodate the Disney dining plan. But for one whole year, she said, they are not taking any discounts at all. So it's a very expensive dinner. Dinner is, I believe, six dollars per person per adult so for four people it was about 280 dollars so that's definitely something to keep in mind and especially with allergies it's nerve-wracking you know you don't want to spend all of that money to then go oh my gosh i can only have a salad for 66 dollars that was again that was not the case with me i do believe disney is taking that initiative and taking that step and i'm also looking forward to going for breakfast i mean how they handled dinner i can't even imagine they're probably just as good with breakfast. Uh, oh, you just mentioned something that I was going to follow up on with. Uh, hmm. it went, it, okay. okay, so, so um, um, what did you think? think so, so with with what they what you had to were there a lot of food choices? Oh, <clears throat> before I forget it again. With, with the menu, is there a chance like on the My Disney Experience app for people to preview it to say, okay, this is worth it for me to spend the $66? Unfortunately not. And that's where I love to post these things because I know that people, my myself, the first week it opened, I was like, I cannot find anything. The only thing I could find was that it just said the options, but there was no safe for gluten, safe for eggs, safe for dairy. None of that was on there. I only saw allergy friendly guide available. So it is a little nerve wracking. However, if you are staying on Disney property, what I would recommend is that say you're interested in maybe doing a walk up for dinner, go during the breakfast hours and say, hi, I have XYZ allergy. Do you have a dinner allergy guide available for me to just look at? And then I guess you can make more of a decision based off that. But for buffets, for some reason, and I wish Disney would do this, they do not provide that information on the app. 
That's a good. I was gonna say that's a good question. Good job, Corey. No, no but it's a good question because, because um, I'm gonna, gonna reach out to, to the technical, technical side of that, of that because, because I do have, have a connection with that. that. I'm gonna no ask good. them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask, ask them if there's, there's any, any way they, they can include that, that to be more, more helpful, helpful for people, people to make, make more informed, more informed decisions. 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 And, and because, because you know, you know maybe, maybe there, there are people, people that aren't going, going because, because they, they just they, they, they can't, can't see a preview, preview of, it. of it. So right. I will say I was extremely nervous going into it. My fiance even asked me. He's like, "Do you know if you can eat here?" And I was like, "No, nope, but we're gonna wing it because." I wasn't able to find any allergy information. So I'm thankful that I was able to host the guide so that people can at least somewhat get an idea. And then when you do get there, the chef will go through a full consultation with you for the allergies. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Uh, you'll be proud of me then because we ate, we did a lot, a lot of dinners, of dinners uh, uh, in the last three, three or three, three weeks or so. Or so. A lot mm -hmm. of sit downs. Uh, we seem we to do that, that throughout the year. We won't eat at a sit down for a while live, and then all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. boom. Then, then the other day, Tammy was like, I'm like, like should, should we go eat there? Yard? Yard? She's, She's like, like, we've done enough sit downs. We got to show the park. So I'm like, you are totally right. So beer garden coming soon. But we ate a couple Saturdays ago. Um, um, we were lucky enough to stay at the Grand Globe for the first, first time. time. And, and so, so we went, went to dinner, dinner over the cafe. cafe. And, and I looked okay. down, I looked looked out the corner of my table, table and there was the allergy-friendly menu. menu. So, so I made sure, sure that I took time and showed, showed everyone, everyone on stream, on stream what, what, um, um, <clears throat> what, what it entailed. entailed. So. So. Yeah. I will say, too, going back to Epcot, I do want to touch on this. Going back about what we've seen kind of in a change of how Disney is handling allergies. I went to Regal Eagle. And I was looking to just get a burger there. And again, same kind of experience. Manager came out, full ingredients list, so tentative, took her time with me. And then a chef came out. So I had two different people speaking with me. And not once did I even blink an eye. Not once did I feel stressed because my, my meal did have to get modified due to allergies but there never was a time where I felt nervous because of how confident they were and how they were preparing it in a separate kitchen. I really do feel like Disney is taking more steps forward in terms of allergies, which I'm very proud of. I'm, I'm glad, glad that we, we know, know enough, enough about, about allergies and, and things, things like, like that, that to be able to, with technology, technology and whatever research, research to, to be, be able, able to accommodate people with allergies, uh, to, to have, you know, know to, to be able, able to enjoy themselves, themselves and feel comfortable, comfortable and, have, have the, the options, options to be able to modify, modify things. things. Yes. And when you go to 1900 Park Fair, I do not know if you've heard about this, but the strawberry soup is amazing and you need to go try it. I believe it's for dinner and breakfast. I was very skeptical, but the chef was like, it's safe for your allergies. Try it. And I was blown away. It is not a warm soup. It is a cold soup, but it is very good. So that is something I would recommend. If you go, definitely try that. Was that your first time trying it? Was that your first time trying yes. it? Okay. From okay. my memory, from my we memory, did we did when try that when it was originally open. Okay. And it was really, and it was it was really good. It was really so, good. So mm -hmm. I definitely, I definitely look forward to trying, trying that again. again. For sure. For sure. So, yeah. Uh, I will uh, definitely uh, make sure. Right, now, now, have, have you, you on your, on your, on your Instagram, Instagram mm -hmm. have you, wherever, wherever you have been eating and these guys reveal, have you been posting them every time or is this something that you started with? Okay. No, I mean, you can, I've been using this page for a couple of years now and anytime I can get an actual menu or an ingredients list to take a picture of, I do. I actually have, there is an acai parfait over by the butterfly exhibit in Epcot. And I actually was able to take a picture of the ingredients on the label for guests to see on my page. So I really like to get that more than anything because as someone with allergies myself, I know it's very stressful to just trust someone saying, oh yeah, it's it's gluten-free. You're like, are you sure though? So seeing ingredients, I know how as important it is to me as well as someone else. So as much as I can try to get it, I will. That's, That's awesome. awesome. So, so uh, I'll, I'll be more, be more conscious too when I'm live in the parks, parks to just, just mention you as much as I like can you. because uh, – we're on a mission together to to make Disney better for people when it comes to food allergies. We want people. No, to yeah, I appreciate that. Absolutely. Absolutely, it's just 
You know, you, know, you, you have, have a passion, passion for this, this because, because it's, it's, it's what, what is personal to you and you want to share it with everyone else. else. And I have, I have an, an outlet, outlet to help push, push that, that too. And, and, you know, I, 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 I nobody, nobody eats food, food more than, than I, I do, do in, in, on, on our channel. channel. I, 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 I beg anybody, anybody to show me. me. It, can't it can't even be possible, but I just love to do the food reviews. I like to make our streams very complete. So what does that mean for me? It means I want to show the nighttime spectacular I, I want to go on some rides i, I want to show some, some kind of some kind of food, food has passed, passed my lips in every stream if i, if I can. can and you know, you know and, and merch like, like that's a complete, complete stream, stream for me, for me. That, and, and i may make I'm conscious, conscious about, about that, that. So, so the amount, amount of food i do eat you know, you know there's, there's always people, people in the chat that might ask about oh are there are there any allergy friendly items at this booth is this is that so uh it's i think it's important that we partner it up so yeah, no, I'm I'm very thankful for you. You have an amazing channel and an amazing platform. So I'm very thankful that I'm able to speak about those things, especially too, like you said, going to the parks like Epcot. I also like to tell guests or anyone that's going, if you have a food allergy and you are going to a booth, please preface that because they do not ask. So you can go on the app, right? Like we talked about last time you go to the My Disney Experience, you see, okay, this booth is safe for my gluten allergy. I always say, take that extra step let the cast members know because say you have an issue with cross contamination that can be a factor and we don't want that to happen on your walt disney world trip so i always say advocate 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 for that allergy speak about it don't say oh it's no big deal it says gluten free so i'm fine no still take that extra step because you will see that disney will take that extra step for you as well that's, that's awesome, awesome and you, you are, are awesome. awesome oh thank uh, you so are you thank, thank you, you. We, we please hang, hang out, out with us sometime soon. soon. Like, like, you know, you know Saturday. Saturday. Oh Whatever. my God, I know. I miss your family. Whenever you guys are going in, just give me a heads up and I'll pop in and just say hi. I don't know if Florence knows, but the last time I was with you guys on stream, I'm like, subscribe to their channel <laughs> like every five <laughs> seconds. It was great. Yeah. 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 I mean, I mean every, every Saturday, Saturday we're there. there so, so you can even text, text me and be like, hey, where are you? Or usually the, the website is always right on. on. Right, right on the nose, the nose with updates, updates, you know, know livingdisney.com living has a four stream schedule. And I'm, and I'm always parking every Monday night, night and every, every Thursday, Thursday. So that's, that's just me. Yet, yet, but if you want to see Tammy and, and, and Jacob, Jacob, Jill's, Jill's getting, getting older, so sometimes, sometimes she's not, she's in, the not in the same park, park as us, but, but she's, she's usually, usually around. around so. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. So have fun. Thank you so much. You're so valuable to the team. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. You're I'm glad I can help. Absolutely. And, and if you don't, don't hear from us, you know, you know, in two, two three weeks, weeks and you've got, got something, or, or any time, just be like, like hey, I got, got something, you know, know worth five, ten minutes or whatever. Yeah. Just text me and I'll be like, like okay, you have priority. Yeah. We'll just get you right, right in every time. Food and wine. When, when is food and wine start? June? I don't, July? Think, we, oh, I don't think we have a is, date yet. I, oh, there's no date? I didn't okay. It's got to be a date at this point. It's the follow up. One, one, you know, you, know, you should, should you should plan on hanging out with us that entire stream because we, we actually, actually do a full menu review. Of oh, that'd be great! With with uh, with, with with slides, slides and things, things like that, that. and merch. Okay. We do like a full preview leading up to it. So, and then oh, no, I didn't know that. that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, like every... I definitely want to do coverage on that, and then I'm hoping as well as a 1900 Park Fair. I'm trying to get breakfast. So I can get you some more information as well, because I know some people prefer breakfast buffets over dinner. So if I can get more information for everyone, that'd be good as well. Okay. 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 You so know what? what? It's July. July twenty. It's July. Wow. Ooh, that's, Ooh. A ways that's a ways away. That's a ways away. I was gonna. I thought it was June. Okay. So yeah, when, they, when, they does flower and, when yeah. does Flower and Garden end? Uh, the end of May. So you're gonna have you're gonna have quite a bit of. But, oh wow do they normally have that much of a break in between so here's what oh, i think oh. happened because that it's normally not like that but what i think happened is with the opening of communicore hall and all of that going on june 10th oh. i think they were like eh, we'll take a break we got a lot going on that's what i'm guessing yeah because that's going to bring in a lot of guests to the park that alone yeah. so that's understandable yeah yeah, yeah. That, that makes, makes perfect, perfect sense lawrence you're a genius, genius. Ah, I wouldn't say genius. <laughs> yeah, my IQ is like <laughs> double. I'm gonna put Ashley's, Ashley's link, link 
I'm I'm gonna gonna well, well Ash's link is, is in the description of everything we do, but I'm going to put it right here to make it easier for all of you to go over and follow her on Instagram. Ash, you all my Chippendale stories. If I post on my story, it's mostly me with characters. So you get <laughs> you still get the Disney magic on my Instagram, but you also get educational information. So it's the best of both worlds. So I yes. do have a question for you then. Um, yes. Since you're a Chippendale fan, did you like the uh, Rescue Rangers movie? I cried at that. Did you see the ending of the movie where they were saying how they need it? So uh, the backstory of why I love Chippendale is I have a twin sister. My twin sister is my best friend, my other half. Um, she is my biggest support system. I don't know where I'd be without her. And I moved to Florida five years ago, and my dad had purchased Chippendale plushes for us and said, if you ever miss your sister, you have her with you, and this mm. is a piece of symbolism of her here. So what I would do is I would go – he's almost like a flat Stanley, if people know what that is. Like you take him, you take <laughs> yes. pictures with him. <laughs> So I would go to Disney and take him and I have friends in entertainment again, which I'm very fortunate to know, um, take pictures with him and they'd send videos being like, we miss you, Sarah, type of thing. And uh, so that's why I love them so much. So the remake, the voices I was not expecting, but the storyline of how they became friends and then just at the end, how they said, you know, I didn't know I needed you until that moment yeah. was so beautiful for me because having the relationship with my twin sister is that special relationship like they have at the end of the movie. So it definitely pulled on my heartstrings. I know it was hit or miss on people's opinions, but for me, I, I thought it was excellent. So I, I enjoyed, enjoyed it. it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. That was a lot of fun. Right. Is that an are you identical or fraternal sisters? I was like, oh my god! Like we have never gotten asked that. So now I would say we look maybe a little bit more identical just because of the haircut but most we are actually fraternal okay all right yeah. so, so all right I, well um hey we'll have to we'll have to do a sit down sometime at this point oh, I would love that you let me know and we can do like a whole allergy experience with it that'd be so much fun yeah let's yeah. do that all right all that, right, sounds, that sounds, great. sounds great well well we love we you love and, and we'll, we'll see you soon, soon. Thanks, thanks for bringing, bringing it. it i think love i don't you, know thank you else, so much uh, is, is really, really thankful, thankful to, to have, have you on, on um, when you can get on as well. Oh, perfect. Hope you guys have a great night and I'll be watching. Thanks. Sounds good. good. Bye, guys. Thank you. She is she amazed. Is amazed. Is. I, am I am very, very honored, honored to have, have her as part, as part of, our of our team. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't think, I don't think, I don't anybody's, think anybody's bringing, bringing that, that in the podcast, podcast world. world. I, not that I follow. But, but. Yeah, I think we cover so much that uh, people just don't think about. Um, I like it. I like it. It's like I said in the members only podcast. If you have um things that you want us to cover on the podcast, let us know. Uh, if you go to Corey's community tab, there is a post there. Just um tell us some topics you want us to cover on the show because uh we we got to do five hundred of these. So you know we've we've got what five hundred four hundred and forty eight left or something like that. So. Um, just, just let us know some topics that you want to cover. We've got some good ones coming up, um, in the next couple of weeks. Going to be really, really good. Really so good. We'll, we'll do, we'll, we'll, that's, that's a great, a great idea. idea. We'll, we'll do a whole sit down dinner, dinner. Uh, uh with Ashley, Ashley and, and we'll, we'll, we'll really, really involve her in that stream, stream where, where, you know, the process. process. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, maybe, maybe even we're talking with the chef and featuring the chef and how it works and all that stuff for people. I think that'll be really, really helpful. Yeah. Yeah, very good idea. So, so our, our next, next topic, topic is, is a good, good one, one, and I'm, I'm sure, sure all of you have talked, talked about this at some point, point, and it's top Disney movies in need of sequels. Yes. So, so, so since we're talking about Disney movies, we we have to start the segment with the movie openings, right? Okay. Okay.
gives PD, PDC the chills in the chat, and it gives me the chills. Listen, listen. I, am I am a movie, movie nerd. nerd. I am a movie, movie buff. buff. And, and I love movies. movies. I, love I love movies back, back in the trailers. trailers. Like, 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 we're, we're always, always late. late. I always I miss a few trailers. trailers. Even, even leading, leading up to the movie. movie and, and, you know, you know it's the same, same scene every Sunday morning, morning, morning we go. go. Like, oh, oh, man, man, we're going to leave. Let's, Let's go. We're going to miss trailers. trailers. And then I miss a few. But luckily, going to AC theaters, a couple of days after you see the movie, you get a notification on the app. And they show you all the trailers you missed. Oh, that's yeah. cool. So I get to go, go back, back and see what I missed and, and, and all, all that. that. And it's, it's still not, not the same theater, theater experience, experience, though. But no, no. at least I get to see what, what I missed. I missed. So, so I love movies so much. much. So leading, leading up, up after the trailers, trailers I love the, the what, would what would you call, you call them? Just the studio. studio. The, whole the whole studio, studio intro, intro to a movie. movie. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I love them all. I love them all. And sometimes I'll sit there. Mom. And, and, and sometimes I'll, I'll sit there very, and I'll try to guess what it is. Name it, I want to know. It's like name it, I want to know. Like as soon as, up, you know, even though it might not be obvious, even though it might not be yeah. obvious well, to some people, like, oh, that's not yeah. free. Whatever. Or, oh, that's you know, all these little, you know, all smaller, these little smaller complex <laughs> and things like that. I love that. I love that. And so what do you think? Does Disney have the best opening right now? I mean, that one does give you the chills. That's always amazing when you see the castle and the camera leads up to the castle and spins around it and it's fireworks. So I remember, was it Elemental? Somebody in chat might know the the first movie that had that opening. Um, and I remember seeing that at, because I we know the other one, and it was it's a little shorter the the last one that they did um, before they did the Disney one hundred, and I was like, I thought I I thought I had clicked on something wrong. You know, every now and then they'll do something different. Like um, Malefic Maleficent, it has Maleficent's castle, right? It's dark and all that for the opening. They've done a couple other ones, but I saw that one and and I had to go back and watch it again before the movie even started. I was like, wait, I got to see this again. And it was, yeah, it, it gave me chills the first time I saw it for sure. I, I love when they, they do alternate, alternate things, things to... to... To, to, the, the, to, 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 to their, their openings. openings. Not yeah. just Disney, but any company. When they do something a little bit different, different, the way it ties in. in. If, if you watch, watch the Marvel openings, openings and, and sometimes Jacob has to point this out. Who am I kidding? Every time he has to point it out. No, not every time. But a lot of times he does. does. If you, you notice, notice every Marvel, Marvel movie that, that opens and you see all the different cut scenes in the block that ultimately turns up and says Marvel or Marvel Studios, there's a lot going on. Within, within all of the, within, within that, that block for scenes, scenes. And, and it usually it ties, ties into, into what, what recently happened, happened. You know, you know, okay. kind of catching you up, like they're all different. different. Like they're all okay. different. Like even Loki when like I think Loki, Loki when that I think it was Loki that went so hard green. to even just be all green. Mm. You know, so you know, so I love movie, I love movie openings. openings. So so we're gonna take, take us down that. No, it's good to take us down that rabbit hole. That was cool. Yeah. But I love movie openings. And we are nerdy enough. enough. Listen, I was, I was talking, talking to Jason O'Brien, who is the amazing director, producer, producer that is doing our movie, movie coming, coming out this summer. summer. And uh, he, he was, was like, man, you're talking my language, language because, because I told, I told him, him, we don't, don't leave until the final word leaves the screen. <laughs> and and it, it, it doesn't even have to be the way we for an end cut scene. You know, we just, I love, we appreciate the music. And I love it. Like, that's Jacob. Jacob is me. I've always done it. And he, he has, he has adopted, adopted it on, it on his own. own. Mm -hmm. like, even, even if I wanted, I wanted to get up and go, go. no, nope, nope, we're not going to move because Jacob, Jacob wants to hear it to the end. end. So, so I love, love everything, everything about film. film. And I love, I love how to make them. them. I love everything. Everything, everything, everything. Yeah. They got to turn the, they got to turn the lights on for us. Uh, uh, same here. Uh, uh, we always we say hello to the cleaning crew. Yeah. Is that different from anything else? You just can't get us. We're the guests. Invite us to a party, everyone. We'll be the last to leave. Uh, yeah, yeah, but, but uh, we, uh, just we just appreciate, appreciate you so much, and I yeah, love watching watching, watching the, credits the credits and everything. And everything so. so good, good stuff. stuff. So, so that, that brings us to this. this we're, we're going to, to uh, talk about what, what movies, movies we think need sequels. One, One thing you and I didn't talk about, about which, which I think, think we can do, is even if a movie has a sequel, why not a third or fourth or fifth? Right, what I was thinking. Yeah, you know, does the movie deserve to have another? So, yeah. So, is there truth to the rumor, the rumor that, that Steven Spiel Spielberg, Spielberg is redoing Gremlins, Gremlins and, and maybe a little bit more on the horror, horror side? side? 
I've heard that, but I don't think that I've seen anything concrete. Yeah, I yeah, haven't confirmed, confirmed it. it. it just, that just came to my mind. Like, yeah, somebody, somebody mentioned it to me yesterday, yesterday but, but I would, I would I check, check the source. The source. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna say, gonna say something. something. I thought one thing I would uh, go through I think on IGN um, dot com, which is a gaming site. Well, are they still? Yeah, they should still. Own oh people. yeah, they're all about games for yeah, sure. sure. Um, I used to follow them twenty years ago when I was in the video game business. <clears throat> they had a good uh, article about upcoming releases, so I thought we'd kind of roll through that really quickly before we talk okay, about. Okay. Um, the sequels that we this, this, think should be coming out. This so the edition. The biggest one right now uh, is going to be Inside Out, uh, which is June fourteenth. That is coming very very quickly. Inside Out two. Do you uh, have you high have, high expectations for that, or moderate expert expectations? I think my expectations have grown uh, as we get closer to it. Um, I think it's going to be good, but I think I keep you know leveling up as i see more of the trailer you know first you saw the the uh poster then the teaser and then the trailer and with the trailer i'm like okay i think this is really gonna be good so i i really hope it does uh meet my expectations i have high expectations because of the new character anxiety anxiety. will probably probably bring bring a lot lot to the film film. absolutely so i have i have i have have, have, you know jacob and i go into a movie movie, we we like to give a percentage. percentage Mm-hmm. Just like Just Rotten, Rotten Tomatoes, Tomatoes does. does. What, what percentage, percentage do you expect out of this film? film? And then we compare it and leave. Um, I would, I would probably, probably say Inside, inside Out. out. I'm going to set, set it. it. Now, now, we always, we always feel, like feel like a movie is worth watching if it's at least 60%. Okay. And we talked about this last, like leading up to the beginning of the year, right? This was a This was a little scientific study by Jacob and I. And I think the numbers work because we went back and reviewed all 50 movies that we saw. Mm-hmm. And, we, and we, checked, checked, we checked the percentage on Rotten, Rotten Tomatoes, Tomatoes and what it was rated. And, and all but, all I think, like one, one was, was like 62%, 62% higher. And higher. All the ones that we saw that we agreed, agreed were good, too. too. So, hmm. so, um, so with so that said, I, I'm going to give Inside Out expectations. I'm going to give it a 70. So okay. I think I, I have a 70% expectation for that one. So I think it'll be pretty good. Yeah, there's two two other emotions. Um, oh, okay, there are. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's I think it's going to be really good. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So Moana two was dropped on us. Uh, when do we hear about that? I, I feel, feel like that was like, like less than a month ago. ago. Yeah, it was a really recent announcement. Um, it's, it's really, really strange, strange to me. To me. What, what is going, going on, on here? here? Like, this is not a random. Just, just really, really curious. curious. Like. like why are, Why are we cramming we a live, live action and, and another, another like, like a part, part two? two? I don't know. Is, is Disney, Disney really, really trying to like cash in on, on this IP? Like, like, let's, let's just slam, slam Moana. Moana. Like, I, don't I don't know. know. Like, like, spread, spread it, it out. out. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand, understand the thought, thought process, process behind, behind that. that. I hope I it's super successful. I just think it was weird to drop an animated version and a live version at the same time. I don't know what the release dates are for them. And most of the time, you, you, um, let me see. Most of the time, you uh, November for Moana too. Most of the time, you know about the upcoming movies well in advance because I don't know if you guys know, but it does not take like three weeks to get an animated movie done. Like it takes a long time. It's three, three years still. Yeah. So I was very surprised that most of us had not heard about this um, until recent. And then when it was announced to hear that it's coming out this year, I was like, whoa, okay. They really but, kept it under wraps, wrap, didn't they? They did. They did. But um, I'm excited for this one. I did not see Moana in the theaters. Um, did you? I did, I did not. not. I, watched I watched it here in the home theater. theater. I, and uh, uh, Jacob, Jacob and I were the only ones that saw it, right, and, and we liked, liked it. it. I mean, I mean, if I had to put a, a from what I remember, remember or, you, you know, know a, a percentage, percentage on, on it, it um, I probably, probably would have given that a solid 70, 73, something like that. We enjoyed it. Um, the first time I saw it, we were doing a um, an event here in the neighborhood. And um, so I was kind of running, helping run the event and all that. So I didn't get to like really watch it. And then finally, once I did, that was after Finley was born. So I only saw it um, probably in 2020, maybe something like that, I think. Um, and now it's it's become one of one of my favorite movies. 
So I'm looking forward to to Moana too. Okay. And do we have a trailer for it? I don't think not I've seen a trailer. Of. Yeah. Chat can help us out, but not that they know, know of. I don't, I don't think, think there's a trailer, trailer for it yet. yet. Yeah, I don't think so. Only, Only because, because they haven't seen anything. Uh, Mufasa, The Lion King, which is a sequel to <clears throat> the live action movie, but it's a prequel. Um, so that is coming out. Uh, I still have not seen the live action uh, Lion King. Okay. So, okay. I did. I did. Um, um, to be, to honest, be honest, I, I, forget, I forget that there, there was, was one. one. <laughs> uh, I, I guess, I, guess it, yeah, yeah. I, don't I don't know. I don't, I don't really, really. It wasn't, it wasn't memorable, memorable for me. For me so, so, or memorable. Or memorable so, uh, uh, but I'll, but I'll, 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 you know, you know I'll probably see this. this. I don't, I don't want, want to lose faith in Disney movies. Yeah. I mean, lately, lately things have not blown us away. I'll never give up on Disney. Yeah. Yeah. For that. But, but um, um, I, haven't I haven't seen, seen it. I don't, I don't think we've seen, seen a trailer, trailer from Mufasa. Mufasa. Yeah, Alan, yeah, Allison right. says no trailer yet. Okay. okay. Uh, Snow White. We know there's been a lot of talk about this movie. Um, I don't know. You know, it's been delayed because of the changes that they made. So I don't yeah, know. I wonder if that's any, any Bob, Bob Iger, uh, you know, you influence, influence too, too uh, stepping in and, and trying to clean things, things up because I think he is cleaning, cleaning things up. up. Uh, uh, in the realm, realm of, of streaming, streaming and, and for movies, movies, you know, you know a, lot a lot of projects, projects have been canceled, canceled projects, projects have, have been delayed, delayed and he and did make some kind of statement when he first came back on, on that, you know, we need to stop, stop watering down this content, content and pumping it out, and let's, and let's just look at the projects, projects that are, you know, we think are Disney, Disney level, level, and we'll put and those out. So I don't mind the delays of a lot of movies, you know, the announcements that came out for 25, 26, we want to see we the want quality. quality. So, right. so I don't know. I, 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 think, I, think, I don't I know. know. They're gonna they're gonna, have, they're gonna, have, gonna to have to make changes, changes for this, for this movie. movie, and they're, and they're gonna, gonna have to really. really I, think, I think if anybody's, if anybody's following, following it at all, all and, I and I wasn't, wasn't even, even trying to follow, follow it, it, it just, just you see social, social media, media and, and just just think that negativity coming out of this Snow White movie. Yeah. So I think they're gonna have to make changes, and they're gonna have to pump this one up for advertising more than anything. To get yeah. people, people to come, to come and, and see it, or they're, they're not going to go. go. I agree. Um, we'll see. Snow White is March of twenty five. Uh, Mufasa is Christmas, December twentieth, twenty twenty four. Okay, that's coming. I hope, I hope it's good. It's good. I yeah, hope it's good. Yeah. Uh, the next one is Ilio. Um, I, know I know nothing about, about this one. one. I'm, I'm seeing, seeing this for the first time. time. Do you, do you want me to play the trailer? Sure. sure. You all want to see the trailer? Let's roll it. Two minutes. Before we start, do you have medical insurance? What? Your coverage good? Do you have dental? For centuries, we have called out to the universe, looking for answers. In 2024, the universe calls back. Bring us your leader. Hi, can you hear me? Honey, now is a really bad time. Okay. Bye. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. This is you. No. 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 Uh, Earth? Welcome. Leader of, uh, Earth. We are the United Advanced Pieces of the Universe. I think there's been a mistake. You're not the leader of our Earth? Sorry for the mix-up. Commence memory wipe. No, wait! <clears throat> I am the leader of Earth. Why is your voice different? Uh, I've always talked like this since I was a kid, which I'm obviously not anymore, but yes, I run the planet. The trial of Earth can proceed. 
Uh-oh. Until then, as you say on uh-uh, okay, bye. I love you. Okay. okay. Bye. Okay. I love you. I love you. You're the talk of the universe. If mom could see me now. I know what you mean. I ate my mother at birth. But in moments of great success, I regret it. That's a thing for your species? No, just a me thing. Everyone was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That's funny. That's funny. My mother, my mother at birth. I like that. I mean, I don't like that, but I like that. That's that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's so, so, um, I'm interested. interested. Streamyard commercial. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm interested. It says spring. Um, June June 2025. 2025. 2025. So, yeah. yeah. Um, that's next summer, I guess. Um, yeah, that'll be interesting. So that was pushed back. That's what it, it was originally supposed to be this spring. Uh, and then it was pushed back because of the strikes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Tron. Eris, I guess, so, so. is how that's pronounced. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, reboot to the franchise. Uh, not a sequel. Uh, Jared Leto okay. can be in there. Okay. okay. Well, well, I mean, I, mean, I hope, hope it's good. good. Uh, I've never, never been, been a Tron fan so much. So much. I, I, I think I, I saw the both. I think I saw the original. Definitely, Definitely saw the, the second, second one. one. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a Tron fan. I'm not a Tron fan. But if this but looks, if decent, this looks decent, or you know, we have, we have, we'll just go see it. We'll just go see it. See it. We have the the passes. We have the free passes. So we'll go see it. So, um, in preparation of the pass holder preview for Tron, we watched both of them. Wait, let me correct that. I dragged myself through the first one. Um, I actually had to stop after like 20 minutes and then watched it again. I think the, the following week was like, because we were getting ready to, to leave. So I'm like, okay, I've got to watch it. So I watched it. Um, and then I watched the second one on my own. Catherine was upstairs, of course, making a dress. And so I watched the second one. And I'm like, hey, you got to come and watch the second one because I think this is going to be more aligned with the, the ride. And so then we watched the second one. I liked the second one much better than I did the first. Um, same, same. I think this one might do OK. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. We need, we, we need to see, see a trailer. trailer. Yeah, exactly. We need to speak more on that. Yeah, it was supposed to be a sequel to Tron Legacy, um, and then they canceled it and decided to restart the um, the franchise. Uh, and that is, did I say October twenty twenty five? Thank you. Uh, Zootopia two. That has been a long time. Um, since we've had uh, the original Zootopia, so uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know. know. Quick, Quick thoughts, thoughts on Zootopia, the, the first, first one for you? you. I thought it was cute. I don't think it was worth making a land out of it. So I'm glad they didn't do that. Um, I don't know about you know. Maybe it does deserve. Um, you know, to have the show in the tree of life. I don't know. I guess it kind of makes sense. I mean, the audience score on Rotten Tomatoes was 70%. So, you know, a good amount of the public do, do, uh, do uh, like it. Do like mm -hmm. it. So, so, like you said, it, like was, you cute. Said, it was cute. I don't, I, 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 I think, I feel like, I feel it's, like, like it's like Disney, Disney trying, trying to force, force this, property this property on, on people. people. Let's, Let's make, make a land. land. Let's make another movie. movie. I, I don't know if there's been enough. People, people crying, crying out, out for it, for it but, but right we'll, we'll see. see we always, we always hope for success yes. with, with mm -hmm. disney so and the sloth, and the sloth yes, yes, melissa, melissa was the best part, best part of that the sloth was the best so, so the cool. sloth was best i do agree with uh theo sam eagle less movies better movies yes yes yeah um and that is there's no uh, november uh oh, november oh. of next year okay okay we spoke about it earlier. Moana, the live action coming out. Um, 
it will feel kind of back to back because uh, Moana is coming out November 27th, or Moana 2. And then the live action is not right away. It's, you know, July of 2026 as of right now. So maybe that'll be enough time in between there. But I think it will I still feel kind of back to back, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. Because, and I, I think especially because the typical live action remakes are way after the original. Mm -hmm. So this is going to feel like, you know, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're basically making them at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Frozen 3 coming out. Totally, totally didn't, expect, didn't that. expect that. Definitely, Definitely didn't, didn't expect, expect that. that. I, mean, I mean, on the topic on the of, you know, Disney movies Disney in need of a sequel. sequel. Um, I don't, I don't think, think that this is, is you know what, I, but I do, see, I do I say this, this. Any, any movie, movie can, have can have a sequel, sequel if it's a good, good story, story. Mm -hmm. and, you, and, you, and you love, you love the characters. characters. Um, I'm all, I'm all for, for this. If, if the story, story is amazing, amazing <clears throat> then, then I'm all, I'm all for, for it. it. You know, you an know, example, example, though, you know, you know I, don't I don't think Frozen 2 was nearly as good as the first one. Not even close. It's hard to beat. With, with how spectacular, spectacular the first Frozen, Frozen was, was, how much, how much of a huge, huge hit it was. was. But look, look, let's look at Cars. Cars, Cars, Cars was, was amazing. amazing. The first, first one. one. The second one was, one was terrible. terrible. Mm -hmm. and, and the third, the third one, one was, was way better. better. Yeah. So, so you, know, you know, Frozen, Frozen could do, do the same, same thing. thing. You know, you the know, third one could be just totally amazing. amazing. But I would say temper your expectations. I don't think anything will ever be the original. It's just so good. Correct. Exactly right. And for me, I didn't see Frozen 1 in the theaters, but I did see Frozen 2 in the theaters. So I think that um, my view of Frozen 2 is a little bit skewed um, because I felt like it was a better movie, but I was all in it because I was in the theater. There is Got something it. to be said for a theater experience. There is. There is. Uh, and Frozen 3 is 2026 as of right now. Okay. okay. Live action Bambi. Oh, oh that's a really that's, that's a real, real thing. thing. That's a real Someone thing. Someone said that in chat. That's a real oh, thing. Live, live action, action Bambi. Bambi. That is a real thing. They have trained the deer to speak. I guess I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's that's coming out um pretty soon. Well, twenty twenty six. Um, I was just seeing if they had any voice actors listed, but they don't, according to this. But it's been it's been in development for a long time, since 2020. How so about we'll that? Lion, Lion King, King will have to be CGI, CGI, yes. Hercules live action. Interesting. That one maybe. Maybe Danny DeVito Danny. may may reprise his role in that one. Um, I have to say yeah, that's still a movie I need to see. I, I never I saw Hercules. Hercules, but it's, but it's mostly, mostly because, because people. people a lot, a lot of, it wasn't, wasn't a Disney, Disney hit. hit. Mm -hmm. Yet it has the, you know, it's got music in it um, that we all know. So, so yeah, we really do need to watch this. Um, I, Catherine can correct me. I don't think we've seen this. Um, oh, Catherine hasn't seen the original Bambi. We'll have to watch that. Yeah, um, Hercules, I don't think I have seen. We saw it, Hunchback of Notre Dame uh, recently. So Hercules will uh, uh, live action will be twenty twenty six. Okay, uh, seventy six percent. Okay, for uh, seventy six percent uh, rated for that viewers on tomatoes, uh, rated eighty two percent tomatoes and eighty two percent for the critics. So, the critics. Hmm. so a well worthy movie, a well yeah. worthy movie. Yeah. I would say go for it. Yeah, Toy Story Cinco, Toy Story five coming out. I'm a big, I'm Toy, a big Story Toy Story fan. fan. I, will I will go see this, this no matter what. what. And uh, uh, it looks like Forky's in it again. <laughs> Love Forky. I mean, just look at this. Look, look, look at, at the critters, critters on the uh, left side. side. I'm, I'm all in on those on those dummies, dummies over there. there. Yeah, and they, and they are, are dummies. dummies. If you're watching, they, they are dummies. dummies. Right. I'm, I'm in on those dummies, dummies for sure. For sure. Uh, I, I love this idea. Yeah, I love. I love, I love, I love this. this. It, it will be like visiting old friends, and it is Disney. Disney so how, so how bad it be? I've been, I've been a, fan a fan of every one of them. I didn't, I didn't have, have some people had a problem, problem with the last, last one. one. I have no problem, problem with it, especially, especially with Forky. Is one the top if you were ranking the four? Oh, oh. 
man, man it's, been it's been so long. long. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I would, I would, I would have, have to take a closer look. It would be super accurate, accurate to rank them all, all but uh, I, would I would put the first, first one as number one. one. I, might I might even rank, rank them as they go along. along. Mm, okay. All right. So yeah, this oh, will yeah, this will do well. It's a Disney. It's Toy Story. It, it's gonna. It's gonna. It's. I can't see it not being a big hit. Course, course says no, no more. No more, no more <laughs> Toy Story sequels. sequels. I'm sorry, I love the OG, OG Toy, Toy Story because it reminds me of my childhood. childhood. But, but after three, three I, can't I can't get back, back into, into it. it. Uh, and that is has an actual date of June nineteenth, twenty twenty six, which means that would come out and then three weeks later would be the Moana live action. So these dates, you know, could change and I would bet that they will change. Yeah, that's Jacob's birthday. Uh, all right, that was it for this one. All right. Are we ready to get down to the nitty gritty? Yes. All right. So we figured we'd, we'd pick about 10. Yeah, ten of these here. We'll we'll we'll, uh, we're, we'll uh, talk, about, talk about, about the top Disney movies, yeah, movies that we that think we need think a sequel, need a sequel or a deserving, or a deserving of, a sequel, of a sequel, or it could be, or it could be a third or a third or a fourth or a fifth. <laughs> we already talked, we already about, talked a about a couple of those. You know, I'm, you know, on, I'm board on board with. with I'm on board, I'm on board with another story. story. Um, I don't, I don't mind, mind that. that. Uh, so, so I oppose a little bit on that one. Now, okay. In my world, when when doing this, I decided that if it already had a sequel that it was not um couldn't be part of the discussion it didn't have to follow you know if there was already a sequel this don't this one doesn't have to be number three also this i assume the 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 quality is still there you and i have talked about um these movies that go direct, these sequels that go direct to um, to home or DVD or whatever. And um, I, I can't remember. There was one you had talked about um, that went like straight, like Cinderella 2 and that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. So I was in the movie business. <laughs> the first <laughs> taste of being in the movie business was movie rentals when I was younger. I had some jobs as a kid. And I just felt like when we got these movies in, you looked at them. So let's say that you got a movie, Cinderella. You know, all of a sudden, Cinderella, Cinderella 2, two. <laughs> Little Mermaid, Mermaid 3. You're, you're like looking at this blister package of this VHS tape or the DVD. DVD you're like, you're what, what is, is this? this? Ooh, let's, <laughs> put let's put it on. Put it on because we can always put movies on and play in like the store. store. Right. And you're and playing you're this, this thing, thing. And what I noticed I automatically, automatically from someone who loves movie making and that kind of thing. My first observation with it was, look at this. The quality is Saturday afternoon or Saturday morning cartoon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's TV level. If anybody's ever noticed, if you've loved a TV show, an animated TV, TV show, show, and then, and then all, all of a sudden, sudden it, it comes, comes, they, they come, come out, out with a movie, movie version of it, of it, it looks different. different. Things they are cleaned up, up there's shadowing. shadowing. The artwork, artwork is better. better. They bump it up, up for, for the animated, animated version. version. Um, I always call that just a money grab hmm. for Disney. For and you want to know something? We could take it further. further. So, so that's, that's just a money, money grab. Because to me, that's Disney, Disney saying, well, we're well, going to capitalize on the Cinderella character. And, and we're going to put out some sequels. But they are not. We're not going to put enough money into it. And they're not good enough for the theaters. But we will put them on VHS or for home release. And people will buy enough where we'll make we'll make a nice little profit off of it. Mm -hmm. But the funny thing is, and you might go, oh, yeah, I've noticed this, too. What about when you get – you could even just get this. You could just get yeah, when things used, used to rotate, rotate all, the all the time and there was no such thing of streaming. So, so Disney had that cycle where Little Mermaid would come out in the theaters. It would have its run for a few months. Then it would disappear. And then it would come out on video for purchase and rental. Right. And then after a little run there, they would say, oh, this is going away. It's going in the vault. It's going in the vault. But anyway, wait, wait, when wait. it would hit the stores for purchase or for rental, you'll see uh, you'll see these, these B companies, even C companies, come out with their <laughs> version of the redheaded little yeah, yeah, or something or like, like that. that. You know, yeah, everybody, everybody wants, wants to cash, cash in. in 
on those on things. things. So, so yeah, yeah I think it's just a cash, cash grab, grab when yeah. when that happens. I don't know if Disney's really doing that level of 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 it at this point. I'm not saying it's wrong. Just an observation that that's, that's definitely, definitely what they did back, back in the late, late 90s, 90s, early early 2000s. For sure. Sure. Yeah. yeah, but the but Disney, Disney Vault, Vault thing, I'm surprised they don't, they don't do that, do that again. again. Like, they, they could, could do, do it. it. They, they could, could do the Disney, Disney Vault, Vault still, still I, think. I think. Well, it was, it was interesting because it was always, you know, the idea of the Vault was, a, and Angie can correct me, Angie, my sister, um, used to work at the Disney store. Uh, and she says the Vault was a was a regular thing. And I want to say it was seven years, if I remember correctly. And it would it would go in the vault for about okay, seven I years. Thought it was five, I thought but it was I'm five, not, but I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, and then it would come back out. And then when it came back out, it would go to whatever the next medium is. So it was VHS, and then it went into the vault. And then it came out seven years later, and they they brought it to DVD, and it was out for a little bit, and then it went into the vault. And then it went to Blu-ray, and then back into the vault. Well, now with Disney Plus, they're not really doing that. So, um, and I mean, you <laughs> you worked in the rental business, you worked in movie theater. You know that it used to be a much bigger time between when it was in the theater and when it hit home video. Like a long time. Yes. Now it's like two weeks. <laughs> you know. Yeah, much it's quicker. much quicker. I, I want to say, say back, back then, then you, you, you know, know, you were, you were probably, probably looking... looking at a good four months, four months give or take. Give or take. Yeah. Three months, Three months at, least. at least. Four yeah. months. Four months. And of course, yeah. I'm, of course old I'm old enough to remember, to remember that, that movies would movies just, would just re-released. be released. There was no, there was home, no video. home video. Right. You know, returning you know, this summer. Returning the Empire, summer, strike the Empire back. Strikes you know, Back. Like, you know, oh, yes. Oh, yes. We got to go. We got to see that again. You know, so the greatest movies always got re-released. Yeah. So we thought we would cover some of our favorite uh, movies that deserve a sequel. Uh, and, you know, some of them are going to be um, some expected, some you probably haven't even heard of. In fact, I'm going to I'm going to start out with one that I'm I would bet a lot of us would like um, a sequel to or, or and when I say a sequel, I want more of the story. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Oh yes! Oh yes! Totally on totally board. Totally on that. board with that. Totally on totally board. Totally on board. We need, we that. need that. I don't know, I don't know if it's even being discussed or or, or what. what. But, but I, I love Roger, Roger Rabbit. Rabbit. You you could easily do a quality storyline with that. I'm, I'm on board. board. Yeah, I I think uh, I, I mean that movie was just so fun. And maybe it'd be a little different because, you know, now we're adults. But, I mean, that movie was just so fun. And to have all the different um, studios' uh, characters appear together, I, I think that that would be a very, very cool one. Um, another one for me, uh, I would like another Muppets movie. And I say that, but yet I didn't see the last one with, um, uh, is it Jason Siegel? We're, We're doing, doing a sequel. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh. I'll, I'll tell, tell you, you what. what. Par, the, the second, second one runs, runs right, right with the first. first. Okay. They, they, are, they, are, they are on, on par with, with each other. other. Super, Super well, well done. done. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're hitting these on. You know, you know, let's, let's just go, go with what, what you're giving us. I'm not to do this. This is the way we should do it. Okay. We're already an hour and 13 in. So. Well, well, you know, no, I'm, I'm, let's, let's ride this, this the way this is. This is, this is good. good. So, so I'm going to say totally, totally with you. I love Muppets. Muppets. We need, need more Muppets. Muppets. Disney's, Disney's doing. doing Disney's, I think Disney's, Disney's doing, doing the Muppets, Muppets justice. justice. What, what does everybody, everybody in live chat think? I think everything they've done, done has been, been top notch. notch. I think Jim Henson would be so proud. Even doing the Haunted Mansion. Halloween special. Unbelievable. And you and I... You, you and, and I, I have grown, grown up, up with, with the Muppets. My, My gosh, gosh, I watched the Muppet <laughs> Show when you know it was live. It. Yep, when, when it was brand, brand new episodes. episodes. Have my mask, sit, sit down with my pajamas, <laughs> and I, I watched watch that, that show. show. I, I, I still, still have my Muppet puppet right, right behind me in the closet. Nice handheld. Hi, hi, Kermit Frog. Yes, yeah, I I would love to see more Muppets. I think they are doing a good job with with what they're putting out and that you know they you have the disney uh plus um 
series uh, for one year or one season. Um, the Haunted Mansion show uh, movie I thought was great. Um, they need they do need to reopen the store though, because um, that would absolutely. absolutely that would just hit my pockets. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. I would like more of the story of Tarzan. Oh, oh okay. okay. But only if we can get more Phil Collins music, which I know we can't. But uh, I would I would love more of of that story. Um, Did Phil, Phil Collins, Collins die? No, but he cannot perform anymore. Really? really? Yeah. Okay. okay. I, was I, was not, not, I was not. I was not aware, aware of, his of his health, health issues. issues. Yeah, he did uh, a farewell concert and had to sit the entire time, uh, or just oh. about the entire time. Yeah. So he he uh -huh. he has said um, he has said no more. Um, <clears throat> Emperor's New Groove. Oh, oh okay. okay. I love that. It was funny. If we could get more of that story, that would be great. Um, <clears throat> of course, they'd have to have it just sitting in the vault, I guess, just waiting to be released at this point um, in order to get the story that I would like um, with the actors that I would like. But um, yeah, I want more of that one. And here's one that I bet a lot of you don't know. Uh, Flight of the Navigator. So, so Flight, Flight of the, the Navigator, Navigator used to be featured on the backstage tour in Hollywood Studios. Studios. Mm -hmm. You could see the ship. Yeah. 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 That's one of my favorite um, movies, of course, growing up at that, you know, that time and being into sci-fi and Back to the Future and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, I would I would like that one. Um I would like for them to do another Inspector Gadget, but not live action. <laughs> um, I did see the original Inspector Gadget in the theaters because I'm I was a huge Inspector Gadget um kid, but uh didn't love the live action movie. So maybe that one. Uh and um we've talked about this before, Big Hero Six. Oh, oh absolutely. 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 Big, big Hero Six. Six. I'm, I'm a big, big, uh, big Hero Six fan. They, they did, did such a great, great job with, with that. that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got, you got a little bit of like a uh, Marvel feel to it. it. You, you know, know, you get these superheroes per se. The, the characters, characters, listen, writing, writing is, is a hobby, hobby that, that I just can't, can't get to because I have, I have a little channel, channel I need to manage. manage. But, but if I had done this, I would have done so much writing by this point, you know. Tammy, when Tammy, Tammy and I got together, together that's, that's what I was, I was doing. I was working, working on a natural sitcom. sitcom. Um, um, and uh, I, I love writing. writing. And maybe, maybe eventually we'll get, we'll get back to that when, when this is you. You and I have talked about, about that in private, private mm -hmm. before. Um, um, so, so I pay I attention to writing, writing and characters and listen. A story is an a good story. If you don't care about your characters, the story is nothing. Yeah, you have, have to have emotion for your characters, characters. And, and Big, Big Hero Six hits, hits on every character. character. Every character is great, they have their own personalities, and they have a big, big lovable. Um, uh, oh, god, oh god, I'm going, going blank, blank on, his on his name. name. Are you, Are you too? too? <laughs> I am. Oh my I goodness, just, it's, it's just, just totally, totally going, going over my head. Chad, help us out. Oh man, god. It's embarrassing, <laughs> but, but just, just even to meet him, him and give him hugs, hugs baby. Yeah, came to me. Yeah, for the, for record, the record, I answered that before anybody put it in chat. chat. So, so uh, uh Max, such a lovable character, character, and me being in the medical field, field for him to be, to be um, you know, you know medically medic inclined and, and, and ask people, you mm. know, their pain, what, what their you know, compare, show me your face on the pain scale. Yeah, I do that every day, I do that every single day, all day. Um, love, love it, it, love it, love it, love it. And, and it's so, so deserves a sequel. I hope Disney is working on that secretly. By the way, that's why we do the show live, is so that when we forget something, we can just have Chad help us out. So it's all good. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, and I asked Catherine what hers would be, and she immediately said Brave. Oh. She wants to, she wants to see more of that story. Okay. okay. Um... um do you, Do you have, have more? more? That was it for me. Okay. okay. I've, I've got, got a few, few here. here. Uh, uh, I, have I have shown there's a very, very special mug, mug that I should buy, buy. Uh, uh, but I haven't yet. yet. And it, it just goes, goes all the way back, back to my childhood. childhood. Went, went to see, to see this, this with my mom. mom. I, I went, went to see a lot of Disney movies with my mom. 
and yeah, I, went I went to every, every single, single one of them, them I feel like, like even live action, action. Mm-hmm. Free Friday <laughs> with like yeah, Jody Foster, Foster and Candle, Candle Shoe, Shoe or whatever, whatever it was, was and all those, those including, including all of the animated ones and I'll and never, never forget seeing, seeing the rescuers, rescuers in mm-hmm. the theater, the theater. I mean, I mean, we, we don't, don't even see Medusa, Medusa acknowledged, acknowledged which, 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 which if anybody, anybody doesn't know, Medusa, Medusa is the villain, villain in that. that. We have, have no Medusa. Medusa. Maybe, Maybe you're, you're, old, old, you're old Disney. Disney. You're, you're old Disney, Disney parks. parks. I'm new Disney, Disney parks. parks. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if we've ever had, had a Medusa meet and greet. Uh, uh, she's not featured anywhere ever. Find me on a mob with the rescuers. She was scary to me. And, and she deserves, I'll take a stand right now, she deserves to be in Fantasmic. Fantasmic. We, we need Medusa, Medusa in Fantasmic. Fantasmic. Uh, uh, and then we were crossing, crossing that. that. Mm-hmm. Maybe they were descendants or brothers, brothers of the TikTok, TikTok cross, cross. But they looked <laughs> a lot like, like him, I think. think. But, but I, think I think it would, would be fun. fun. Now, now, they, they did, did they, they, they did one, one of those. those. I, could I could be wrong. wrong. That, that probably hit theaters. They did Rescuers Down Under. But I think that one's more forgotten. Um... Yeah, yeah, they got, they got it right, right here. here. They, they, they did, did do Rescuers, Rescuers Down Under in 1990, 1990 but 1977, 1977, the year, the year that, that New Hope, Star Wars, Wars A New Hope, was uh, released. Mm. The, Rescuers the Rescuers came out. out. How, about How about that? that? So, so I, I love the Rescuers, Rescuers and, and I would, I would like, like to see more adventures. adventures. Um, and, and I, I believe the adventures took, took place, place. Well, they well, ended up in the bayou, but I think it started in New York City. Hmm. I think, I think their little, little business of detectives, detectives took, took place in the beginning. You're, You're looking, looking like, like you've never, never seen, seen it before. before. Uh, I want to say that I have, but I, I, it was so long ago I don't remember. Rescuers, Rescuers live, live action, action would be fire as PDC. I would, I would not, not discount, discount that. that. I'd, I'd like, like to see a pitch for that. that. Um, so, so I skewed a little, little bit differently than uh, Lawrence a little bit too, where I just feel like there are movies that have had sequels that could benefit from others. Uh, pirates. pirates. Let's, Let's just keep, keep as, as long, long as, as as long as uh, I'm going blank again. Johnny, I think tonight. Johnny, as long as Johnny is uh, av- is available. Yeah. Um, just keep him coming. Just keep him coming because he is one of the greatest, if not the greatest, live action Disney character ever. Yeah. Uh, love, 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 love me some, some of that. that. And, and some Jack, Jack Sparrow. Sparrow. And how, and how about, about um, um, I, love I love monsters. I love, I love the monsters series on mm-hmm. Disney Plus, and, and I love uh, the monsters movies. movies. I think the sequel was, was right, right there with the, the first one, one. And, and I think, I think it's, it's time, time for a monsters, monsters three. three. I'm uh, with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How about now? I'll jump into a few that uh, don't have sequels, but. Uh, if you take a lot, a lot of princess, princess movies and, and you and, and people, people were to rank them, them I, don't I don't think Tangled would be in the, the very upper echelon of that. that. But, but I, I really, really love Tangled, Tangled. and, and it, would it would be cool, cool to see them, them formulate, formulate a great, great story around a sequel, a sequel yeah. for, for, for Tangled. Tangled. That's one that a lot of people have talked about another time. Yeah. 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 I, I, I would really be up for that. That would be pretty cool. And, and how, how about, about up? And, and you, you, you got, got a little, little, little taste, but we got, we got a little short. short before right. Before Elemental, Elemental, which, which was, was really, really funny. funny. Yeah. Um, I, think, I, think, I think I think those, those characters, characters just could create, create a whole other adventure. adventure. Maybe, Maybe they've, they've got to, you know, you know attach, attach the balloons to the, to the house again. And, and, and they've, they've, they've got, got to do something. You've got to go on some other big adventure. I think that would be really cool. And, and Doug, Doug is so, so funny. funny. Uh, and didn't and, he have uh, a, a series of shorts? He did. He did. Yeah. He did. Yeah. Um, just, 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 just like, like Forky. Forky. I was I not a right. Forky fan Man for Toy, Toy Story, Story 4, 4. But when, when Forky, Forky came out with his, 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 his miniseries, series, which is award-winning, it was, was, it was, it was I, I loved, loved every single episode. What is money? What is love? I love him. Uh, uh, you know, you know what? what? This, this is a movie, movie that, that um, was, was pretty, pretty good. good. I'm not I'm a, a huge, huge fan of the movie, movie but, but it's time because of the amount of merch, merch we see in the parks. parks. And, I, and think, I think, I don't, I don't know, know why Disney has not done another Stitch movie. movie. 
The, the merch, merch flies, flies off, off the shelves. shelves. They, they Disney, Disney can't, can't produce, produce enough, enough stitch merch. merch. So, so there's, there's a business, business for, it. for it. That should I tell know. you right there that, uh, there, like you like you said, there's a business for it. That should tell you right there you need to make another one. There's no there's no reason not to. No. Um, and, and what I'm going to do right here uh, live on the podcast, podcast is, is I'm, I'm going to jump over, over and I'm going to look at look at the rating. Okay. So the rating, it rated high. The rating. Uh, okay. It did have so a sequel. Rating, it rated people high. Correct me on this. I'm going to say uh, that it, it did have a sequel. The movies. People it could wasn't correct. a theatrical release for the, for the sequel. Mm -hmm. But I think they need a reboot. Maybe a little bit of a reboot on this. I think they need a reboot. Maybe a little bit of a reboot on this. Maybe live action. Maybe live action. Sis. Definitely do an uh, definitely, definitely do an animated. Definitely do an animated. I could see Stitch, I could being, see a Stitch good, being a pretty good live act live action film. film. So so uh, uh but, but the critics gave the original eighty seven percent and viewers seventy seven percent. So it falls in the L I D formula mm -hmm. of a movie that you may not be disappointed with. So, yeah, so I, there's just I, so I much merch out there. And people want to uh, stitch uh, meet and greet, you know, inside the parks. So yeah, they 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 should do so. Although we might we might be getting one. Well, we as an annual pass holders might be getting. Yeah, yeah. they're they're yeah. choosing a stitch, a stitch uh, uh, magnet. magnet. So no. and they say that there's also a special character that will be there. So if that falls Maybe. in line, it might be Stitch. Maybe so we'll see. Stitch. Um, though, so that, that was, was what I had, had on, on my list. My list. Yeah, um, those are those so, are some good ones. So, those are some good. Uh, oh, uh, Melanie says they had a few such movies and a show. I do kind of remember that. And here's, here's a movie, movie that, that I think they need to stop making. <laughs> Drive me, me nuts. nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Can, you Can you stop, stop making, making a, a version of Freaky Friday, Friday please? please. There's <laughs> gotta be <laughs> ten versions of this. Of this. The dad, the dad and then the son, son changed. changed the dog yeah, yeah. And the cat changed, changed. Like, like enough, enough. yeah enough enough enough, enough, enough 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 you know you the know formula, formula writing, writing, writing writing stories, stories really is, is there's really only, only like three stories, three stories out there, there. Mm -hmm. and then, and then you, you just take, take the, the formula, formula and, and you change, change some things. things we're watching, we're watching the, same the same story over yeah. and over again only like three versions in the world but it changes a little bit yeah just just ask the hallmark channel at christmas time Every one of those movies. Those are all the same. 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 I'll be in a patient's home and I'll be seeing the patient, and sometimes I get a patient that loves all my movies. It's Christmas time. It's all festive. I love going to all the houses with the decorations. It's like I get Christmas all day. Yeah. With the trees and everything. And they'll have the Hallmark movies on. And it's fine. Everybody loves it. People love it. So go for it. Why not do it? But if you observe the way things go, you know, it's the. It's the attractive girl moves to a small town or something, and there's this this hot guy who might be he's single. They start this; it slowly develops with them, and then something happens where he ticks her off, and it looks like it's not going to happen, mm -hmm. and then it happens at the end. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty standard uh, formula there. How, How about the movie, movie Wall-E? Wall I, I, I need to go, go back, back and watch Wall-E Wall again. again. Um, um, loved, loved the, character, the character, but I didn't, I didn't like, like the movie. I don't think I, think I was crazy, crazy about, about the movie. movie. So, so I'd I've only seen that again. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw it once, once when, when it was new. Um, um, I, should I should probably go, go back, back and watch it again. again. And, and I, feel I feel like, like maybe even, even <laughs> excuse me, feeling the way I do, maybe we give Wally a sequel. I don't know if Disney feels like how well that do, but maybe they give Wally a sequel. So, so, I don't, I don't know, know if there are any other, other movies that you, that you all think could, could use, use a sequel, sequel or, or, or you or would love to see it, it. Uh, definitely, definitely comment, comment below uh, when, when the live stream, stream is over, over of the podcast, podcast and uh, uh, listening later, later on. on definitely, definitely comment down, down below. We'd love to interact with you. With you. And, and if you're new, new here, here, over, over on, on Instagram, Instagram or the vertical, X, whatever, come on over. And Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? I can I, hear you. I, can you hear me? Yeah. All right. All right. I, 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 I can't, can't hear myself, myself though. Oh. <laughs> I hold it out. I got, I got all excited. excited. But definitely, definitely check, check us out. out. <laughs> check, check us out on uh, the main, main channel, channel uh, which is Living in Diz, 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 Diz on, on YouTube. YouTube. And, and we'd love, love to have, have you as a subscriber. We're live in the parks two to three times a week. 
and uh, uh, have a lot, a lot of fun adventures, adventures reviewing, reviewing food, food check checking out merch, uh, check uh, checking out resorts. resorts. Everything, everything Walt Disney, Disney World, World has, has to offer. offer. Yeah, there's there's um, quite a bit of movies uh, that you know we could we could say. I see um, a couple of people have said Remy, um, Wally. I'm figure out how to uh, plug this back, back in, in while you talk, talk with the people. Got it. Um, Wally, like I said, I've only seen it once, so I don't really know um, right, I think how I feel about it. Back. Are you back? Uh, and Steve has dropped a gift. Uh, I can't see who that was picked up by. Oh, Tara. Tara Rager. Welcome to the family. So you'll get the... Um, Members only podcast, which happens before this one at uh, 630. You get to use all the emojis uh, and <clears throat> definitely be sure to uh, continue that after the 30 days if you uh, so wish. And you can do that for as little as $1.99. Steve has dropped another gift and that was picked up by Elise M. So again, you will get all of those special emojis for the next 30 days and the members only podcast at 6:30. Thank you very much Steve. We always appreciate that. Always appreciate that Steve. I'm back. I like plugged it into the microphone. Like that didn't even make sense. <laughs> I, so I'm I back. what you were doing but I just, <laughs> I, just, I, I saw you laughing. You I'm always <laughs> crazy old Maurice. He's always good for a laugh. So we used yep. to do this all the time. We don't do it anymore. It's, the shirts are just like shirts, right? But we're actually all Star Wars out. Yes, yes we, we are. are. Can you check us out? out? Um, um, no. no. What is that? I can't even. Well, here's like I know it's Star Wars. I mean, well, there's R two D two. Oh, okay. And oh, this is so weird doing it backwards. Uh, the Millennium Falcon. Okay, let's say is that the house? So, cool. Characters and where'd you find that one? Amazon, I think. Um, I feel like I'm a little bit overdue on the uh, ward on wardrobe. How's wardrobe going? I think she's got two in the works for you, if I remember correctly. Awesome. She never disappoints. No. <laughs> yeah, your April one is a little bit um behind. Uh, okay, that's okay. Because we haven't seen you in April, so that's true. You'll get them. You'll get them in May. Yeah. Oh, Disney Dina in uh, chat says, "OMG, I left to teach a class and I came back to watch the podcast. I missed tonight, and you're still on. This is great. Oh, well, we're, <laughs> we're leaving now. Yes, but go back Bye. and listen, Dina. <laughs> go back and listen. This was this was another great episode. So, uh, just want to thank um, Ashley once again." Uh, she's amazing. So excited to have her as part of our, our team here. It's, it's another, uh, area that we can cover as we want to cover everything Walt Disney world, everything. If, if you spend enough time, time with this channel, channel you will know everything, everything we, we do. do. I guarantee it. it. We are a teaching channel. channel. We've, we've always been a teaching channel, channel in the parks mm -hmm. and now we've brought it over to here. We can be even more concentrated on, on, on teaching right here. You're having so much fun learning. You don't even know. That you're learning yep so uh okay a couple of announcements before we go first of all let's hit up our sponsor and then we'll have a couple of announcements before we wrap this baby up here's victor looking for a home that offers the perfect blend of luxury looking for a home that offers the perfect blend of luxury comfort and convenience with disney world in your backyard Victor Naraki is a licensed realtor with Vision Home Real Estate, LLC. He is here to help you find the home of your dreams. With over 13 years of experience in the vacation home market and a proven track record of success, Victor is the perfect partner to guide you through every step of the home buying process. So why wait? Visit DisneyAtYourDoorstep.com today to learn more about Victor's exclusive range of properties and schedule a viewing with him today. Your dream home is just a click away. If you're... I just wanted I to fire up inside the parks, parks this week because...
I, I, I wanted, I wanted to. to. I don't really <laughs> I don't think we did anything <laughs> that, that um, really, really is worth spending time, time on, on, you know, you know where, where we, we uh, spent uh, so, much so much time, time on other on things today, things unless today. something jumps out to you. Did did, did Monday, Monday at Magic Kingdom, had a, had a great, great time, time. Uh, uh, covered, covered everything, everything. totally oh. forgot. My memory is just going, I guess. I didn't remember what I ordered the last time over there at Starbucks, but I did get the lavender foam. Oh, that lavender foam is so good. Very, very good. Five out of five Mickeys. It is a Mickey's kiss. Really good. So check that out if you have a chance, a chance to get your lips on some lavender foam over there at Starbucks. Uh, Saturdays, always love being out with the family. Uh, if, in case you haven't noticed, I just love that little wife of mine so much. She's amazing. And, um, of course, get to, get to hang out with my little man who's not so little as well. Uh, really wanted fish and chips, so we got the fish and chips. It's been a while, and they gave two pieces of fish. We mm -hmm. don't remember that. It normally it's one piece of fish. It was good in a time where we feel like Disney is 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 shrinking up the portions. Not over in the UK, that was a very very generous portion, and I was satisfied. But uh, at the same time, Jacob went over uh, to Regal Eagle, mm -hmm. and the the banana uh, dessert was definitely smaller. We compared it to an older photo. And um, definitely smaller, and his portion, his sandwich was smaller, so that's that's disappointing. We got to stop that. Um, but you know what else? What else? Um, anything else happen at Epcot? Just a just a great day at Epcot. Um, I think we're very ride focused. Oh, we went backwards on Ratatouille. Yeah. Well, I don't know what you were all thinking when we were on Ratatouille. If you thought that I did something wrong with the camera or something like that, but. We, we just we, we went, went into the freezer and we were like, um, I'm thinking, oh, okay, why are we, why are we staring at a door? Yeah. Okay, we're, we're, we'll turn, and then we didn't turn, <laughs> and then we went into the next room and we didn't turn. I'm like, all right, this is going to warrant, uh, you know, doing this again. And luckily, the cast members had no problem letting us do it again. Uh, so that was definitely a different kind of experience, and. Uh, so we had to make a choice, right? Do we do we just get off and sacrifice the ride and just go to Luminous? Um, I'm glad a lot of you supported us and saying mm -hmm. just do the ride again because mm -hmm. I do listen to you all and uh, to a degree for sure in decision making in the parks. And uh, we did it again. Yeah. And we watched whatever was left of Luminous. And uh, oh, we gave away another hundred bucks. Yes, we gave a hundred bucks of my money, and we were so happy to do that. I think we gave it to Stephen. And we ship things right out from the store. Sure. And I am happy to, to announce, announce get, get this, this. when, when we, we do a giveaway in the stores store from now on, it will be also including international viewers. viewers. So, hey, yeah, yeah. So, so we're, we're going to do, do that. that. Um, so, so we, we won't, won't do it when we give away like my like pain, pain dreams, mm -hmm. but, but we, we will, will do it when we ship right, right from Disney. Disney. I, I asked her if they do international. And, and she, she said she did, and I, I don't, don't think it was, it was that, that much, much more money. money. So, so okay, um, we'll, we'll try, try it once, once and if it's not too expensive, expensive we'll, we'll just continue, continue to do it. it. I, will I will say also that, that I'm also happy, happy to announce that the, the channel, channel is growing at a, such a faster rate now that we're going to stretch out that hundred dollar giveaway to every thousand mm -hmm. subscribers rather than five hundred because. We're already going to be at 14.1K, I yeah. think, before the weekend. Uh, so in that rate, we'll we'll slow down a little bit there, but there's still just another goal to shoot, shoot for. for. Yep. Okay. okay. And, and uh, uh, just like we did in the Members Only podcast, uh, Shirley says a thousand seems, seems fair. fair. Thank, Thank you. you. And we really love doing it. Um, we talked about this in the Members Only podcast. Uh, if you are a member and you've been lucky enough to become green, there's a lot of you that are in green and we really, really appreciate it. It really helps the channel. Uh, two things that it helps out with big time is equipment, the, to run the podcast. It is not free to do the podcast. Um, it's, it's free, free to go out to the parks park and stream, stream if, you're if you're not, not talking, talking about gas and things, and things like that. that. It's, it's free to do that. that. It is it's not, not free to do this, this, this podcast. podcast. Um, um so, so it, it, all it all helps. There's, There's a lot, lot of technology. technology. I, 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 forget I forget what I even signed up for, and I just get <laughs> <a little laughs> pay, payment alerts 
throughout yeah. the weeks of the month. You know, oh, you just paid for StreamYard. Oh, you just paid for StreamLabs. Oh, you just paid for this. You just paid for that. I put a lot of money into this channel, and I think you can all see it. The quality of it uh, means a lot to me. Uh, it's our name on it, and we want this to be the best it could possibly be. And the other thing is, so for equipment, you know, we were looking to do some certain things technical-wise, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anything. We just get it. When I learn about something new, I go, how much is it, and what does it do? Right. Okay, let's go get it. I don't blink an eye. If it's for all of you, I don't blink an eye. Um, and also for food. Uh, when we go to the food booths, when we, we go, go to restaurants, restaurants that, that you, know, you, you, you pick, pick up, up, what did, what did we, we pick up? up uh, I don't even remember what the bill was, was over at Grand Floridian Cafe, Cafe a couple weeks mm-hmm. ago. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and, and actually, actually sometimes this happens too, too just stepping outside of the memberships. Of the memberships. Um, Lauren stepped, stepped up, and Yelnak stepped up. Leo, maybe? I don't really remember. Maybe someone else contributed to that dinner, so we didn't even have to pay for that dinner. And, and we're, we're so, so appreciative of that. that. But, but you, you all got, got to see that, that dinner. dinner. Regardless, Regardless if, if you didn't, I was using membership money to pay for that dinner. dinner. And, and I didn't bat an eyelash. eyelash. If, if I was taking that out of my own working pocket with, with what I do in my profession, I have a hard time doing, doing that. that. I 100% understand that. 100% I'm doing that. that. But the money that's made in Disney stays in Disney. And I hope that makes total sense to all of you. I want to give it all to you when we go to a food booth during a festival. Give me everything, everything on the menu so, so that, that I can show it and review it so people have a better idea, idea of what to get. Yeah. Tim says the bill was around $240 at the discount and before the tip. So, so and, and we, we, we were going to, I think we were going, going to try to treat Neil, Neil too. So, so, and, and some of that money came in for Neil too. So, so um, I think that was the plan. So that was really, really helpful. Can't deny the food for you, Steve. And by the way, there's a whole Disney listened. More, More snacks, snacks from May the 4th. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we will so definitely we'll, preview that um, coming up. Maybe not next with, week. Yeah. yeah. With, with that, that said, yeah. yeah. And with, with that, that said, right, right? we're, we're going to try everything. everything. If, if we can we get our hands on every snack, snack available, available in the park, park we're going to get, get it for May the 4th. Yeah. So that you all can see it. And again, May the 4th is going to be our next live stream where it is an all-day stream. We'll start our rope drop and we'll end... Uh, uh, we'll end, end after, after the last, last firework goes off, off at Fantasmic. Fantasmic. Mm-hmm. Plus, Plus another, another half, half hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jay was asking me yesterday, and I was like, oh, no, we're, we're, that's going to be a major day because we're going to be live from uh, Rope Drop to, to after Fantasmic, and we will be horizontal and vertical all day. <laughs> so, okay, okay, I was going to ask you, we going all day, day vertical all and all day? day. Sure, okay. sure. Yeah. why not? Why not? All right. All right. So, so I'll pass. I'll, I'll pass the stream off to Tammy a little bit, and and to Neil. Not that I need a break, but it'll, it'll be, be nice, nice to pass it off a little bit and, yeah. and do There'll that. Be a few people want to see, people people wanna see Tammy, Tammy anyway, anyway, so we, we got to do, do that. that. Yeah. So, Dean says, "Oh, OMG, that's a lot of snacks for one day. Make sure you drink plenty of water. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be a hot day, and we'll hope for great weather. It is Florida, so we I highly doubt that it would rain all day on us. And yeah, so so May first, uh, we'll probably do a, that. That episode will probably be a preview of uh, May the fourth, and then the week after May eighth, that'll be a um, roundup of our all day stream and everything that uh, May the fourth had to had to offer for us. That sounds awesome. That, that sounds, sounds awesome. That sounds like a great plan. plan. PDC for, for all the hard work and dedication. Thank you for all the hard work and dedication and. and... See. Let's I see. truly appreciate that truly membership. Appreciate that membership is budget friendly. Says absolutely. Name absolutely. absolutely. I said this. I said this only the podcast. Only podcast. If, if, if if everybody that could do it join for a, even a dollar ninety nine and you get, get two hundred people, people to do it, it three hundred dollars to the channel, channel that we can we can go, go ahead and use for, for, for great, great things, things like this. this. And, and uh, uh, we have, we have an, an announcement coming, coming up. Uh, look for the announcement. I got without, without seeing the calendar. The calendar really. Really. Whatever time, time we're live after May twenty fifth, we'll have a major, major announcement to a very special, special live stream that, that will happen, happen this summer. summer. And to my, my knowledge, no one's ever done it on stream before. before. So, so we're excited to, to announce that, that uh, uh, when yeah. we're able to do that. Yeah. And we have other things in the works for this summer. Uh, there's another one that I know that's going to go off for sure. 
but we'll wait till we have a date for that one before we announce that one and uh, waiting on Lawrence to, to solidify another thing that we're going to do. And uh, that will be great, too. One thing we haven't done live in the parks lately, technically it's not in the parks, it's, it's um, on property, is we have a mini golf in so long. Mm. It'd be, it'd be kind of cool, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. A yeah. night where even if you guys are in town and, you know, it's like Lawrence and Catherine versus, you know, LID or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. something like that, you know, that would be pretty cool. May 29th. Corey says, uh, Alicia, uh, what for an announcement for the announcement? I think, Oh, May 29th will be the next time I'm live. Thank you. So May 29th, look for an announcement, uh, that we will make on that. So, um, the last thing, right. We want to make sure we got to everything. The last announcement we have is we're really excited about next week's show. Uh, what do you guys think we... it's going to be? Ooh, what do you think the show will be? What do they think it's going to be? Mom thinks it's going to be uh, Earth Days. That's a good one. Um, we will have just actually Earth Days in between shows. So um, not Earth Day. Um, we have interviewed an author. So next week we're going to interview a murderer. Yes, our first murderer coming to the podcast, and she's a former cast member at Disney. How about There's that? a lot of story behind this one. There really, <laughs> really is. So, so her name is Brooke, Brooke Ranson, Ranson, and yeah. she is a former cast, cast member, member, and, and she, she has, has packed her bags and gone to Hollywood. She mm -hmm. is currently the starring in the Selena uh, show. Let me take this off here so they can see it. She's currently. Well, what else? Why did that come up? Let's take that off the screen. There we go. Selena and Yolanda. She is Yolanda. She's playing Yolanda, and she doesn't look like that. No. <laughs> She's playing young. Uh, Yolanda and it is streaming on Peacock right now so if you all want to go check that out check it out we are going to have her here for uh, what I hope will be the entire podcast she is going to tell us stories behind the scenes and yeah. of, uh, uh, of, of, of her life as a cast member and a cast member that has now moved to Hollywood she's so excited to come on I met her in the parks and that's how we sparked up that little, that little, uh, that, that little acquaintance, acquaintance and, uh, decided, decided to reach out to her and see if she wanted to come on. And, and I was able to follow her cast member story from, from there, there on. on. And, and then, then she just popped, popped up, up posting behind the scenes, scenes uh, photos, uh, photos of that, that project. project. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, she, she is now, now an actress. actress. So, so really, really good kid. kid. And, yeah. uh, we'll have a lot of fun with her next week. So lots to look forward to. Yeah. So um, make sure to check that out um, before she comes on. Uh, it, it's, it's only two episodes. Um, it's a very interesting story. Uh, so, yeah, definitely check that out. And I guess we'll have to ask her before she's on the show if she's allowed to say what she did or if she wants to say what she did for Disney. Right. right. Right, 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 right. For sure. Yeah, sure. We have yeah. to, we'll have we'll to have check to that out. out. I'll yeah. ask her beforehand. And I, think I think what we'll, we'll do is we'll get, get her on. on. We'll, we'll get, get her on, on private. private. Mm -hmm. and we'll, we'll, we'll kind of go, go through a soft, soft kind of, kind of um, interview, interview quick. Yeah. Just to just see to what see we can say and cannot say. Or ask and cannot ask. Yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. So we've got some good stuff in the works on our way to our 50th episode and the anniversary of the very first Um YouTube living in Diz Diz Pod, uh, which is June nineteenth and the fiftieth episode. So we've got some big stuff coming up. Um, we do. We, we, we got to get, get my girl, girl Georgia. Georgia. Yes, Georgia. Georgia. Oh, she popped, popped on the live stream like randomly random the other day. Yeah. She's, she's like, like, "Oh, I'll message you guys." guys. She's, she's she's busy, busy but yeah. I'll even reach out to her if I don't hear from her soon because we got to get her on. She's her voice is amazing. Everybody, she's she's huge. She's huge on social media, like a million million subscribers, subscribers on YouTube, YouTube something, something like, like that. that. So. so and Neil, we got to get Neil on. We're working on yes. it. Yes. We're working on it. I first. know, man. Oh, man. 
Come on, Neil. <laughs> Neil's holding Neil's out the right amount of money. We haven't reached yeah. agreement on yeah. the, the proper amount yet. <laughs> yeah, his his uh, his booking agent's a little tough. Yes. yes. Do we Do have, have a quote? quote? Uh, no. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no, no quote. quote. Uh, no, say... sorry. <laughs> That's no, all right. That's all right. Well, everyone, thank, thank you so much, much for listening live. live. We do it live because we do it for you. You, you asked for it and you got it. it. Thank, thank you to everyone who Ninja, Ninja listens, listens everyone, everyone who uh, supports, supports us in the parks in any way, way that you do. I love you all. We see you all in chat, chat. Um, and, and love the Ninja Watchers. I was able to meet, I met a Ninja Watcher uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, not that I keep on to call the uh, confectionery, the Emporium this week. In the confectionery, her name is Kristen. Hello, Kristen, if you're listening. Uh, she just, you know. I love, I love to hear to that hear stuff. That, uh, She's like, like, I make sure I clear my schedule for Saturdays. Saturdays. I do, I do not, not miss Saturdays, Saturdays and, and I need to watch, watch on Saturdays. Saturdays. And, and so, so um, really, really appreciate that. that. So a little, a little shout, shout out to her. her. And uh, uh, that's it. it. So, so yes, yes, if you're listening on the replay, thank you so much as well for all that support. So for the Diz Pod, we're just a couple guys, a couple friends talking Disney. I'm Corey. I'm Lawrence. We're the Diz Pod. We'll see, we'll see you all next, next week. week. Next, next live stream, stream Saturday, Saturday, live, live from, from the Magical, Magical Kingdom. Kingdom. We'll, we'll see, see you all then. <laughs> Come out of hiding, they